Hi viewers, welcome back. It's Jen from Jen Lintero. Um, I have been uh, trying to think of how to look at this. Uh, I've been very um, preoccupied all morning thinking about um, Trump asking the Justice Department to explore ways, um, justifications for deporting or extraditing um, cleric Fatua, Fatula um, Gulen, Gulen um, pardon me if I'm butchering these names, um, he's the Tur Turkish cleric that, um, and I keep looking at my nose, so pardon me for looking away from the camera, um, he's the Turkish cleric that um, uh, the Turkish president, um, Edroan, um, accuses of um, stirring up a, a corruption investigation back in 2013. He also blames him for a coup that was done against him in 2016, uh, attempted coup. And um, this cleric, um, Gulen, he's all about um, tolerance, moderation, interfaith dialogues, um, and education within the Islamic world. Um, so he's He's a peacemaker, um, and he's about educating yourselves and um, not falling to terrorist tactics and things like that. He's been living in the U.S. for 20 years. Um, he's here on, on a green card. He has you know, the right to live here. Um, he has been investigated um, you know, by our government when... Um, Turkey said, oh, he's committed all these crimes, he needs to be extradited back, and um, what what the U.S. does is they look at, would we consider it a crime here? You know, when they extradite someone, um, it has to be under the circumstances that, yeah, that would be considered a crime here, too, so we'll extradite that person to you. Um, there has been no evidence, no evidence given to support Turkey's um, stance on this. Now, why Trump wants to send this cleric back is to pacify Turkey because Turkey's up in arms still over the Khashoggi murder that happened in Turkey. Um, the journalist for the Washington Post that was killed um, by the Saudi prince's orders. The CIA came out this week and said, yes, he was murdered by um, order from the Saudi prince. Um, Turkey wants that Saudi prince out. They don't like him, they want him out. So Trump, in trying to quieten down what's going on, it's all convoluted, isn't it? Trying to quieten down what's going on uh, with Saudi Arabia and the prince, uh, is trying to pacify Turkey by saying, oh, you know what? Maybe we'll send this cleric back to you. Um, the same cleric is the one that Flynn ended up getting prosecuted over because he was part of the uh, kidnapping plans. They were going to kidnap him from the U.S. and send him back to Turkey, take him to a Turkish island. Um, he was part of the, uh, the Mueller investigation. Why Flynn is, you know, facing time in jail now, um, as well as not um, registering, you know, as, as a lobbyist for Turkey. Um, so, I want to look first at, is Trump going to be successful in getting Gulen extradited back to Turkey. Um, we all know why he wants to do it. You know, he's making money with the Saudis. Uh, he's trying to protect Saudi Arabia, but will he be successful at extraditing Gulen? Yeah, winning at all costs on the bottom. He's trying hard. Turn the camera down. So Trump is trying to do it fast. 
He's trying to extradite this cleric Gulen fast uh, because of money, money involved in the environment, gifts of money, gifts of money. Um, the emissary down in the bottom, the uh, uh, go-between, bringing the money. Um, card of mourning in the past. Wow, I, I feel this is people mourning Khashoggi. I feel, you know, this is everyone mourning Khashoggi. Um, and what happened with his murder. Um, crowning the reading, the Four Swords in retreat. It's Trump. Or, no, no, he's trying to get Turkey to retreat. He's trying to get Turkey to retreat. Um, he has a proposal. And we know it's Trump has the proposal because we have the full card. And he's going to be out in the cold with this proposal. He's not going to be successful with it. Everybody sees it for what it is. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's not going to be successful with it. Now, right now, Saudi Arabia only has um, sanctions against the people that were, uh, five people that were actually involved in the murder of Khashoggi. Uh, no sanctions have been put against the crown prince himself. So, um, will Trump... be forced into putting sanctions based on the CIA coming out saying, yes, the crown prince did order this murder on Khashoggi, this hit. Um, will Trump have to, uh, will he be forced to put sanctions on the crown prince? Happy home, the marriage, the marriage between uh, Trump and the Saudis. Saudis want our weapons, Trump wants his money. There's corruption all around. Will Trump have to put sanctions against Saudi Arabia? Um, the Empress in the middle here, pregnant with possibilities. Well, I really feel Mother Russia energy behind this. I feel like um, I feel like Russia is putting pressure on Trump to not put sanctions on the Saudis, as well as, you know, he wants his own sanctions lifted. Um, Page of Pentacles, uh, money being offered, information and money, um, news about money. In the foundation, the King of Cups, this is Putin. I'm actually feeling Don Jr. on this um, Page of Pentacles. Uh, I feel like Russia is, is blackmailing Trump over Don Jr. and his meetings with the Russians. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the past. That's the Russian lawyer that Don Jr. met with.
Breaking hearts. Breaking hearts. This heart is breaking. Yeah, the thief. Trump's heart is breaking over it. Um, winning at all costs, the thief. Um, his heart is breaking, I think, because of seeing what's coming for Don Jr. Um, sleepless nights, anxiety. That's not an answer. Is he? Is he going to have to put? I don't, I don't think he's going to be given the opportunity to put um, sanctions on the Saudi prince. And here's why. He's, he's anxious over what's going on now with Don Jr. Um, and all those meetings and things that Don was involved in. Jr. Um, I, I think he's going to get fed up by all of this. Um, what's going on, you know, with the Mueller investigation, it looks like he's he's just going to walk away, which is what, if you if you ever watch uh, David K. Johnston, Johnson, uh, who's written books about Trump, he, he always talks about how when the going gets tough, he just walks away. He just walks away and goes and focuses on something else. Um, wow, I feel like, he, you know, it's Trump, he's going to walk away because the sword of truth is coming after him. And not just on on Russia and Don Jr. and the meetings and the meetings with the Russian lawyer, um, and backed by Putin. He, everything with the election, the thievery, and winning at all costs. But probably more information on what's going on also with Saudi Arabia. So, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to pause uh, or stop this video and um, do a reading on, is Trump going to leave soon? Because he's just fed up with it all. And he's going down, his kids are going down, it's all falling into a big mess. So, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned, there's going to be another one. Um, if you like this video, please click like, share, um, and uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see future videos. Um, and thanks again for all your support.